Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. The question of 3S batteries that fit these type of quads is coming up so much I'm making a special video dedicated just to that. And these are the only ones on the market that are 3S that fit these. So you can maybe get a 3D print and you can mount that and fit all sorts of different batteries. Or you can clip the tray and mount all sorts of different batteries as well. That's up to you. But the question about what fits is the GNB 300 3 cell batteries. And that's it for right now. As of this date, these batteries are very hard to get. Banggood just published that they have them in stock supposedly. Who knows if that's true or not, but just tonight as I'm recording this video, it came up. These are running $11.99 for each battery. Uh, you can DIY. I didn't do this. This was shipped to me uh, earlier. I think that this might have came with a tiny leader. And you could take a cell like this and do the trick of putting three of these together uh, just like you see here. I'm not going to get into that because that is a whole nother video. Uh, this might be a little bit easier to work on than something like this. Of course, Tiny Hoop has their new 333, so they're quite a bit longer than our typical 3-cell batteries, and you can get a few extra milliamp in your battery if you choose to DIY. These Tiny Hoop 333 batteries are not cheap, though. Uh, Tiny Hoop also has a couple other batteries listed on their site that I'm not certain they fit, but I presume that they do because they are selling the Mobila uh, HD, so I presume that those batteries from my LiPo, I have not tested those, I cannot speak to their performance or their uh, flight time. So in my Mobula 7 HD review, which I'll link up here and I'll link down below, I go into some details about different batteries that fit that little guy that kind of talk about my history with them and what I think of them. I'm not going to get into that now. I want to keep this short. So you can DIY or you can buy these 3S batteries. And I'll put links to shops. You can get on the waiting list or pre-order, whatever you call it, to get some of these batteries. But I think as far as what I know, these are really hard to get right now. Additionally, the China Hobby Line batteries do not fit. They're way too big. China Hotline Hobbies are good batteries, but they're known to be a lot bigger and heavier than other batteries. So, this does not fit. The GB 520s, again, way too big. It doesn't get close at all to fitting. The Tattoo 450, again, 3-cell, way too big. It gets between the tray, but it's way too tall to get in there. The Race Day Quads 525, same thing, it's way too big to get in there. So, if you get my drift, these are the batteries that you need to get right now. As a bonus, let's step into some 2S batteries. 2S batteries, in short, these don't fit, these do. These come with JSTs by default, so you'll have to install an XT60 or switch your machine over to a JST, either way you want to go. These are my LiPo batteries. Uh, they are going to be expensive unless you can find them in the U.S. warehouse. My LiPo is the company that makes the tiny hoop batteries like this. You see where it says mylipo.de. That is the site to go to if you're not checking those links down below. I suggest you don't buy this battery at all. Back when I used to be a team pilot, I contacted them about this battery because it was one of the first batteries I was a little bit concerned about in micros. And they told me that this was not designed for quads. It's not designed for high output. So I would just suggest you skip this one altogether. Uh, like I said, those do not fit. The 350 for beta FPV does down here as well, but I don't suggest you buy that battery either just because it's not a very good performer in my opinion but all these others fit and you'll find a 520 by GNB that's essentially the same battery as this RDQ battery that is going to fit as well but unfortunately I don't have one of those if you want to see full details about me discussing these batteries I'll link down in the description to that Mobula 7 review where I talk about batteries a little bit and I'll also link the power Whoop video that I made a little while ago if you're out there and you're active online I would sure suggest you link this video to people asking this question because I buy a lot of batteries and I just have a sneaking suspicion there aren't too many people that have tried all these different batteries and know whether they fit or not. Of course, again, you can clip the battery tray off of these guys and you can fly just about any size of battery you want. Any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in that section down below. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.